Hello, you're about to listen to and watch the grand premiere of my just now finished children's book, Can Alfred Come Out to Play? The story is beautifully read aloud by Annie Claxton. Enjoy. Can Alfred come out to play? Alfred has just come home from school. Oh, he says as he goes into his room and puts on his favourite clothes. Now he's ready to play and what Alfred likes best is to play by himself. He makes loud karate sounds and his ninja turtles fly through the air with their good friend who is a rat in a red kimono. Alfred has played the game a hundred times before and that's why it's so good. But suddenly, in the middle of Alfred's game, the doorbell rings. Ding dong! Oh no, not now, Alfred mumbles. He opens his door ever so slightly and peeks out through the crack. He can just make out two figures through the textured glass window of the front door from behind his mother's back. They look like Franz and Morton from his class at school. Tell them I'm not home, Alfred whispers to his mother. Can Alfred come out to play? Sure enough, it's Franz and Morton. Alfred recognises their voices. Even though Alfred's classmates would like to spend time with him after school, Alfred prefers to play by himself. I'm afraid he's not home, says Alfred's mother. Shortly afterwards, he can hear them walk away back down the garden path. Oh, Alfred gives a sigh of relief. Yes, I'm not home, he shouts, and he does a little dance. Alfred... I can't keep saying that you're not home when your friends come by and ask for you. You must tell them yourself that you don't feel like playing. It's just my stomach, Alfred explains. It's as if there's a bird down there flapping away. It's a huge bird, says Alfred, and he makes large flapping movements with his arms. When I'm at home playing by myself, it's not there, but it comes back as soon as someone from my class wants to play after school. Maybe you ought to tell the bird that it shouldn't be so crazy, says his mother, and tell your classmates the truth, that you just don't feel like playing with them today. Yeah, says Alfred hesitantly. He knows what his mother means, but inside he doesn't feel so sure. What will Franz and Morton think? What if they ask why? Maybe they already think he's weird. All the others in his class want to play with their friends after school. I wish I was like the others. I must be the only one who's like this, Alfred sighs to himself. No, Alfred, says his mother. She's heard what he just said to himself. Now she puts her paw on his shoulder and looks him straight in the eyes. He becomes warm and calm inside. It's okay to feel like that. Everyone is different. I feel like you do too sometimes. And then I just say it as it is. Alfred's mother goes out to buy groceries, and meanwhile Alfred sits for a bit on his bed. Say it as it is, Alfred repeats to himself. He can still feel the bird. Imagine if he said something about the bird to Franz and Morton. They would really think he was weird. Suddenly something happens. Ding dong! It's the doorbell ringing again. Alfred jumps beneath his bed, terrified. The bird is flapping crazily in his stomach now. Before long, the doorbell sounds once again. Ding dong! <gasps> Alfred tiptoes out into the hall. No, 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 he whispers to himself. Through the window, he recognises Sophie's orange T-shirt, so it's definitely Mikan and Sophie who want to ask if he can come out to play. <sighs> 
he shudders. But remembering the words of his mother makes him stay in the entrance. With eyes closed, he makes ten flapping movements with his arms and it seems the bird becomes calm. He breathes and opens the door. Hello, says Mikan. Next to her is Sophie. She has a yellow bucket in her hands and Mikan has a fishing net on her bike rack. Can you come out to play? Alfred looks at the bucket. It looks as if they're going fishing for crabs, he thinks. It actually sounds like fun. He looks back to his room, at his toys, and knows what he wants most. Finally, Alfred says, I will say it as it is. Everyone is different and I am playing by myself today. As soon as the words come out, Alfred wishes he could eat them back. Was that not the way his mother had put it? He looks down at his paws and realises that he forgot to take off his karate pants and his stupid hat. There's silence for what seems to be an eternity. What are you playing? Micah asks curiously. I'm playing with my Ninja Turtles, Alfred answers. OK, Sophie says. We'll see you at school tomorrow then. Bye bye, Alfred, says Mikan. And then the girls ride off on their bikes again. Alfred stares in surprise. Before he closes the door, he gets a glimpse of Mikan's fishing net disappearing behind the hedge as she turns a corner in the road. He trudges back to his room. They didn't seem to think he was weird at all. Alfred even feels like he would enjoy going out fishing for crabs with the others. Just not today. It's a good feeling Alfred feels in his stomach now. The bird is gone. But the best part of the whole thing is that he doesn't need to be anyone else but Alfred. <laughs>